Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Kamal Shani. I'm the founder and director of Plain Minds. Uh, I welcome you all uh, this evening uh, to the launch of this uh, very unique program in the business analytics. This program is more focused towards the pharmaceutical business analytics. Uh, a very important requirement uh, today globally for the pharmaceutical companies. And today it has become a very important part of the overall decision uh, making process for every global pharmaceutical company or even the mid-sized or small companies who are working on the new molecules or expanding new molecules. And especially with the you know reduction in the new pipeline, the relevance of the business analytics has become uh, more important. This program, um, I won't sort of uh, go through, repeat a lot of things. Uh, we have an eminent uh, speaker and our uh, trainer and our uh, main sort of a person behind the force behind this program, uh, Mr. Dinesh Pandey. Uh, I will uh, shortly introduce him to all of you. Uh, this program is a six months weekend program. The classes would be Saturday and Sunday, and uh, you're going to experience some wonderful sort of uh, activities during the program and the topics what we have planned to cover as a part of this program. Uh, introducing you to Mr. Dinesh Pandey. Uh, Dinesh is a eminent uh, uh, pharmaceutical business analytics professional for the last over 15 years. Uh, Dinesh is a uh, MBA, and today he heads the, as the chief of the staff and the head of the business analytic and consulting for Pharma, uh, Pharma Ace Analytics, uh, which is the leading business analytics company today in the pharmaceutical space. Uh, Dinesh has got a 14, 15 now plus years of experience into the life sciences, OTC, consumer care management, forecasting, HEOR, uh, competitive intelligence, you name the area in the business analytics domain and Dinesh has got the extensive experience and worked with the leading global organizations like Novo Nordisk, AstraZeneca, BMS and the various company. Dinesh is also the visiting faculty with the leading institutions like IHMR, Niper, Symbiosis and very closely works with us at Clinimines. He has experience in working with the top 10 global pharmaceutical companies in this area of business analytics. Uh, uh, Mr. Dinesh is going to be the lead for this program. And uh, uh, as a part of his team, there'll be different uh, trainers or the different sort of uh, senior experienced professionals who will be coming and teaching you as a part of this program. So welcome you, uh, Dinesh, sir, uh, to this program. And uh, okay. uh, before I invite you to speak, uh, I would request all participants uh, to one by one uh, introduce uh, themselves. Uh, tell tell us your name and the uh, what is your background, your education, your experience, if any. Uh, that would help us. And also very briefly, you could uh, uh, tell us your expectations out of this program. You have broadly seen the uh, brochure and the information brochure which we shared with you, but today we are going to go in a lot more detail. Mm -hmm. So in whatever the so far your understanding is, let us know your expectations. We will make the notes today. And uh, during the you know process, during this program, we would ensure that all your expectations are well covered. So. Uh, before I invite uh, Mr. Pandey again here for the, uh, I would uh, start requesting, I see the list in front of me. I see the first name here, Abhijit. Uh, Abhijit, please uh, unmute yourself and or Dr. Bipra, if you could help Abhijit in unmuting and maybe for this session, you could unmute everyone. Uh, Abhijit, please uh, introduce yourself. Uh, so, uh, yeah, sure, sir. Thank you. So, uh, my name is Abhijit Gurjar. I am basically from Mumbai. 
So talking about my career, uh, I have a total of around seven and a half years of experience till date, uh, particularly into the field of pharmacovigilance or uh, what we call as drug safety associate. Please let me know in between if I'm unclear. Uh, so uh, it is more sort of regarding the adverse events or the side effects that occur on yeah. the drug. That is what uh, I am into. And uh, I have a huge experience into like four companies. Uh, it seems we have lost uh, uh, the in between. Yeah, he got disconnected. Yeah. I think. So, okay. I think the next, in the meantime, if he joins, uh, we have Dari. Uh, Abhijit is back. Yeah. Right. Abhijit, go ahead. You probably could unmute him. And... Yes, sir. Yeah. Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So as I mentioned, I initiated my career uh, with Tata Consultancy Services, moved to an Indian pharmaceutical, which is Alchem, then Johnson & Johnson, and currently I'm associated with Pfizer, Pfizer mm -hmm. Limited, and in all the companies, I have the experience in pharmacovigilance itself. So the major uh, aim for uh, enrolling into this program was, since I always play with the data about the patient, patient's data, uh, I was looking forward to move into the uh, business, pharmaceutical business analytics field, wherein I get the basic knowledge of how the various tools can be used to play around with this data. And if I can enter into this field as well, since uh, mm -hmm. I am quite um, aware about what exactly is pharmacovigilance, I also wanted to add on uh, the um, additional points along with this program that I can fetch up. So mm -hmm. that is my major aim. Thank you, Abhijit. Abhijit, what is your education? So I have completed my Bachelor of Pharmacy and post that I have done my executive MBA in pharmaceutical management as well from NMIMS. Oh, okay, great. great. Yeah. Great. Uh, the next, thank you, Abhijit. The next name we see, Daria Chadda. Hi, Daria. Welcome to the program. Now, uh, good evening, good. everyone. Thank you so much. Um, I'm a foreigner. I came from Kazakhstan and I'm married to an Indian doctor. <laughs> My husband is okay. a doctor and I reside here for the last about uh, 10 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, as for my background, I am MBA professional, international business development. Mm -hmm. I started and started being engaged in pharmaceutical company about four years back. So I have been mostly working for regulatory affairs, uh, pharmacovigilance and clinical trials, uh, um, I am, as far as I'm foreigner and the um, uh, uh, expert-oriented unit, so I'm very deeply always engaged whenever it is audits coming, especially for our GMP and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I know production very well. I know what is the uh, analytical normative, normative, uh, normative documents and so on. Uh, after that, I have been offered like um, position of business optimization and mostly right now I'm assisting to our managing director. Mm -hmm. So I am very much interested in my sphere right now, as far as this is a new position for me. But I do understand that one side, it is just the knowledge of um, pharmacovigilance. Another side, it should be like analytics. In analytics, we have to be engaged in each and every sphere. I feel absolutely pressure, but I hope with the <laughs> help of all of you, I will gain an experience. I will try my best just to learn whatever I can learn. Thank you so much. Thank you, Daria. And which company you work for, Daria, at present? Kusum Healthcare. Kusum Healthcare. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, the next we have in the list, uh, Dr. Anand uh, uh, Swami. Hi, Dr. Anand, welcome to the program. Hello, uh, good evening, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, Dr. Anand, we can hear you. Uh, I did my uh, doctorate back in, uh, completed my doctorate back in 2018, uh, from University of Madras, associated with Dr. K.M. Chirin Heart Foundation. I I think you all, you will all know Dr. K.M. Chirin, the pioneer yes. of, of heart surgery. So I did, my uh, PhD over there, and from there I worked in several startup companies, and uh, finally I have I have started my own company. 
which deals with market research uh, associated with healthcare and pharma as well as i do competitive intelligence analysis and patent analysis also okay i wanted to learn more about how this competitive intelligence analysis for it works uh, combined with programming kind of thing python r etc etc so that i can give my best to the clients mm-hmm. in terms of uh, analysis uh, output okay thank you thank you thank you dr anand thank you so much thank you uh, uh, i see in the list next nilesh mr nilesh yadav hi everyone Hello. my name is nilesh yadav i am from mumbai uh, i completed my bachelor in it now currently i am doing job with uh, tata taj tata company mm-hmm. okay. and i am fresh sorry Go ahead, go ahead, Nilay. Yeah. And I also want to do career in this industry. Actually, okay. actually, I'm a fresher. Actually, I'm fresher now. What's your qualification, Nilay? Actually, I'm a bachelor bachelor in IT. Okay. Oh, bachelor in IT. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, we have Swapnil now. So, Swapnil, please introduce yourself. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sopnil, you are audible. Yeah, yeah. Sopnil. Uh, this is Sopnil Wad. Uh, Listicle. I am from uh, Maharashtra. Uh, I am a bachelor in pharmacy. I completed my pharmacy in 2009, and currently I am working uh, in a senior cell, which oh, is okay. a CRO company. Right, right. For that, I worked with uh, uh, Atos, and then TCS, and then Quintiles. And uh, my currently work profile is to uh dealing with the marketing applications of uh, ind in the submissions uh dm web submission to the regulatory authority uh, i handle the most of the submission for the us and european regions and the uh, rest of the world so i am looking forward to uh, learn this analytical course to just uh, add on experience in my current profile and uh, to gain a new knowledge good thank you Right. Thank you, everyone. Hello. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can hear Dinesh, you, Dinesh. Yeah, Dinesh, please go ahead now. Yeah, I hand over the uh, session to you. Now. So yeah, uh, thanks a lot, uh, Kamal sir, for introducing me. Uh, so I'll let you know a brief uh, about why we came about this course as a concept. So uh, me and Kamal sir are associated with uh, last many years. So uh, and I have been in this industry for last thirteen, fourteen years. and now last 7 8 years i have been part of the operations uh, the recruitment process and everything so i was finding a gap between the academia and the, the work we do uh, we do lot of campus placements in uh, the pharmaceutical management colleges like maybe niper same voices but the thing is that the thing we want in the people in the people to start as a fresher there are some basics with respect to pharmaceutical business analytics and all such thing which uh, misses into them uh, i don't uh, say that they just misses into them uh, it misses in their curriculum which has been laid by our premium uh, authorities of india i don't blame them blame the syllabus also but something extra we require for business analytics and consulting because uh, you know we work with the us europe or rest of the world clients and these there is very specific needs for them uh, they want specific analysis from us accurate analysis because they they rely on of an analysis right uh, so they take decision strategic decisions on those analysis maybe forecasting competitive intelligence anything you call they take the strategy so a specific skill set or the basic information or knowledge is required uh, to work into this consulting area and uh, maybe deloitte maybe bcg uh, everyone the people are working so my idea was that last 13 14 years 
there is a gap when i passed out as mba in 2007 what whatever gap was there what i struggled to get into as a fresher and doing the analytics work still i feel that the candidates or the students who come uh, to the companies like pharma is equia maybe drz they all have that gap same uh, so i was trying to uh, come with these types of courses so uh, I, I discussed with kamal and we but there is no course like such like every in every premier college in india if you talk iams if you talk great lakes any college they are providing courses like business analytics pg diploma in business analytics right but for a pharma domain or for a healthcare domain that analytics course is not going to work lots of courses are flooded even on the udemy if you see upgrade there are a lot of courses in business analytics but business analytics and consulting you cannot learn at the generic level because it is industry specific right there are, there are industry specific data sets there are industry specific uh, requirements with respect to tools and templates different uh, uh, analysis is needed different skill set is needed so that course i am seeing people are getting from udemy upgrade they are doing a pg diploma course from two years course one year course from these big colleges but when we hire or they come to the uh, actually to work on the uh, uh, the client the site uh, they don't know actually basics so even if you have done a pg diploma if you even if you know r python or maybe the advanced excel skills and if you have not seen the data right healthcare data you only know the skills until unless you don't see the data you don't apply those skills on those data you will not be able to do so that's right and every company when the freshers come or the laterals come there is a rat race in our corporate companies so, and everywhere so everyone has to get success so that's why me and kamal came with this course like how we can fasten people to work startly with the projects right because when we bring people uh, all are believable so there is very less time to get on to the projects because they have to come to the projects very uh, shortly and we have our programs every company has their programs ims has a very good program pharma has a very good program if for internal tailings well, all these things what we will be but our idea that was that if someone comes with these ideas before little bit also a background of this data sets these these trainings these data sets these tools and techniques it will become for very them for them also to get a good job uh, in the industry for all these companies and industry will like these people right because they come with some of the basic things so we don't have to right uh, start from the basics uh, telling them what is epidemiology uh, i have been hiring people from public health colleges like maybe i'm not, I'm not named but if i ask the difference between the prevalence and the incidence some people don't tell that difference too which is a very basic for our industry whenever we calculate a market for any indication or any therapy area it starts with epidemiology right so i want people to be aware of the basics there and this course have the basics and analytics advanced things both this will enable you to get into big consulting companies maybe a uh, big five big six and whenever you will give your interviews right or even you will interact to your the people in this industry like who have 12 years 16 30 you will speak their language right that is the main thing when you start if you say i know epidemiology even if you tell basics about that they are not going to ask you very advanced right you start talking the basics language what they know to them while interacting to them it becomes very easy for them to connect you right if suppose you have done a course in r or python they will ask that uh, okay you have done a course on r and python you will say yeah i have done from this 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 and this now the next questions come what what do you think you can do with the r python in pharmaceutical industry in consumer industry then you people don't have answer right learning the pandas in the pi r or oh, sorry in the python and learning sql language and learning angular java or anything technical uh, it doesn't mean that because you have not seen the data right so what you will do until unless you don't know about data so this course will come everything about what is competitive intelligence what is forecasting right we will give you basics about that why forecasting is needed in pharmaceutical industry why are python is needed in pharmaceutical industry why sql is needed in the pharmaceutical and why a pharmaceutical company needs a competitive intelligence department why a pharmaceutical company needs a pharmaceutical department so we will give you a holistic picture of these 
consulting areas to, and we will give you detailed uh, syllabus and all so that you are prepared when you go for the interview uh, even you apply for the competitive intelligence you apply for the forecasting the basic things you are done and if you are done with the basic things then the industry is very much interested to learn you on the hands on the project but the, currently the gap is that people don't know about the basics right, of this and uh, i'm saying name any pharmaceutical consulting company we are a boutique we are a small company like uh, pharma is a small company but there are big companies like deloitte zs associate huh? extria they have huge number of employments coming in the future because as the uh, the traveling is being stopped in us and europe all the work because if people are not being able to go they were earlier dependent on india with respect to getting the analytics people now people cannot go them with them so the need of the work will increase in india right so all company like deloitte and all they uh, they, they have their function even you name any it company infosys wipro you go to their go to their websites right and see there is a healthcare vertical department right people are doing work and other thing what our course will come with our course will not come with the normal case studies which has been taught in the mba colleges and all if our case studies whatever mistakes i have done in my 13 years 14 years any of the project any mistake we have developed case studies from there right I'll, I'll, our case studies will like will be like simple a question like can you calculate the patient from this article uh, okay i have done that mistake so we will teach you small small things which are being asked in the interviews and the mistakes so when you start working on the project you don't mistakes what me or the people who have worked in 13 14, 14 years of uh, these verticals and still i make mistakes so whenever i make any mistake any project i make it as a case study that because that learning should not go i have suffered due to, due to that mistake i have not suffered that is an error it happens in the project but people should not people should know that these types of errors happens so before they start project they find these types of they are very aware right so our course is very unique it doesn't come with very case studies which has been taught in mba or on the online it will comes with basic small small case studies will be given to you and you will learn there right so this is the basic of our courses what we are trying to and, and, and this is an experiment experiment from us also right uh, i have been working 13 14 years and i think there is a, a, gap, a gap and you know to bring you all people in this platform it has been very challenging because until analysts people don't realize that they need something something course like this they will not attend right people think that uh, doing a pg diploma course in business analytics from great lakes or like you can see lots of uh, facebook and linkedin is giving you every time another another institute giving courses of these things right it's not about business analytics and consulting it is about a particular domain area regarding business analytics and consulting it cannot be generic it has to be a, a particular vertical integrated people who want to work on consumer care data they have to know about different sets because like in healthcare we have patients data and patients data still needs your logic things your uh, minds things so it cannot be run by r and python it hasn't it is r python is run on that but there is an extreme for that right you have to be very aware where to apply which skills there so all uh, courses will come with that so this was a brief about uh, our courses and i'll uh, walk you through a ppt what i have prepared today for you guys like so in that i will cover what is our course module how we are going to deliver and then uh, what type of case studies i'll give you uh, one case study right i'll show you how how small small case studies are going to help you in finding a suitable position and and i'm telling you rightly currently we are doing this work for the us clients indian companies don't have budget or something like that that they can give this work to but indian companies also have started to bring these types of departments in india now the indian pharmaceutical companies have started to bring a competitive intelligence department they have started to bring a forecasting department so indian pharmaceutical industry is also in uh, increasing in terms of these verticals and this when this will increase they don't have people because their people who are working in the product management or the marketing or the sales or the production side they don't uh, know about these things and those people who know basics about which pharmaceutical and if you teach the courses which i'm going to outline you it will very it is going to be very easy for them to pick because they know the basics right 
so that's why we are trying that like like for it pharma has a huge role there are a lot of patient level data which cannot be done by using without using uh, IT infrastructure because they, we, that data has to be stored somewhere that data has to be extracted from somewhere it cannot be stored on a laptop because that is so huge it has to be stored somewhere on the cloud and it has to be abstracted so by saying this uh, I'll start my presentation and uh, then we can have a follow up questions because and uh, right now I'm telling you exactly uh, I'm not selling or marketing anything, right? You, know, you people have interest, shown interest into this. Tamil would have done a lot of uh, talks with you. So uh, really, after uh, my, so much of experience, I want my experience to be distributed to the people, right? And we, you, the right people should get into the right companies. And when they enter, uh, they should be uh, excelling uh, into this. So I'll start with the PPT. Once. Oh, so you all can this, uh, see the screen? Hello? Yes, the nation, we can. Yes, yeah, thanks. Yes, okay. Great. So I'll be uh, telling you about these pharmaceutical business analytics and consulting. And you know, uh, why I named this course business analytics and consulting? Because first thing, people are very confused what is analytics and consulting. No, consulting is about consulting. And when you consult someone, how the way you consult is like that. Analytics is a way to consult pharmaceutical industry, right? So if you go to a doctor, he is a he is a consultant, right? He may be uh, maybe specific consulted to like radiology or uh, intro thing, anything. So analytics is a way of consulting, and the modules what we have, they are way of analytics, right? So so key highlight of our program will be like a certification is be uh, will be given from the clinic minds. Uh, and this is the first and only course in India on the pharmaceutical business analytics and consulting. And everything in this course will be taught with respect to industry relevance, right? If I'm teaching you like something about regulatory of the uh, Europe, it will be only industry relevant. I'm not going to teach all these all those things which are not relevant to our work. Only the re relevant things will be covered in this module, which will really help you to work uh, in these companies and we are I'm, I'm telling you because i have worked so i'll be very simple and easy uh, language i'll be speaking very simple i'm not going to use jargons yeah i'll be using jargons which you need no need to know and talk to people when you are uh, getting into for jobs and then uh, cleaning mindset 24 access presentation through lms right uh, you can access those things you can read those things and, and the thing is that one more thing uh, just don't share those materials uh, to, to the people uh, you can get to the lms and all because these are very sensitive and very specific material we and lot with a lot of efforts we have come out uh, so and so 120 plus hours of rigorous training will be there explanation through the case studies will be there and this program is designed for working professionals who are really not working in these departments or consulting and they, we want them because in my, we have seen them in the past that people who come with basic information of pharmaceutical whether they are coming from the uh, of, of a production either they are coming from the pharmacovigilance pharma economics wherever they are coming they have done extremely great job in this consulting because they have this idea of pharmaceutical company how it works right that is the basic thing how a pharma company works 
and then we'll there will be in between live webinars for you people and the live webinars will be conducted uh, i'm there but they, it will be from the thought leaders from different companies i'll not name the companies right now but they are very big company in the in terms of pharmaceutical analytics and companies so people will be talking to you and one more thing this program is like that uh, you can i'll be your mentor right like a private institution has i'll be mentor i'll be mentor you can anytime ping me in we weekdays also right i'm available like oh i have this interview opportunity i have applied uh, and what should i go for that uh, this is the company i'll go i'll walk through the company i'll show you is tell you that uh, we haven't went through the whole course but these are the rapid points right just go and learn these rapid points i'll accelerate the training program it's not like that you can consider me as a mentor anytime you just ping me I'll, i'm there to help you with any of the concepts right uh, and the weekend i'm there full time but i work for a company so i have to contribute there and my primary responsibility is for them and th that's why this was my passion of training right I, I currently I I manage these training and everything in my company, but I don't know these days to be uh, do these training programs. But uh, people are there to do. But each and every training program I have done my in career. Let me know a little bit. Tell you about my uh, passed out in two thousand seven in pharmaceutical management. Before that, I have worked in sales and marketing for Lupin. Uh, then after my MBA, I came to supply respiratory as in product management. Uh, then I joined uh, Pharmark, which was acquired by Equia. And then I have uh, worked with Data Monitor, London-based consulting company. And uh, then I have worked with Indigene, starting the analytics uh, vertical there and taking to. Uh, or then uh, uh, we, uh, some of the senior veterans of this industry, started PharmaIS. So they brought me into that with my experience. And then we are at currently 200 people. If you see, I have already always worked in those companies which have scaled up from small number to uh, big people. So I, we really know what is for scale up. It's not like bringing the people for scale up is scaling up the training ability. Too. It's not bringing people and they will do more. So that's why we have identified. I have identified what are the things missing in the people. So if they, that can be done before they come to the companies, they will do an excellent job while they work. So uh, this is the proposed module uh, of this. Like uh, we will we will go into the uh, different healthcare system, US and Europe and others, uh, which are giving business to the consulting company. I'm not going to tell you about the healthcare system of a company, uh, which is a country which is not giving the business uh, for, to the our consulting time because uh, that that is generic. Then I'll be going through the global regulatory scenario. Each and global what scenario is being used. In our consulting domain, and then there will be general topics like uh, we uh, topics on oncology, rare disease, which are the key topics right now. For, because these companies have budgets, so these are giving a lot of work to the uh, consulting companies. So we'll be discussing about uh, clinical trials because clinical trials will take uh, 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 makes a huge contribution to this industry. So learning about the clinical trials, and then business analytics okay, across value chain. This is one of the major modules. In this, you will learn what are the business analytics techniques or the skills and the uh, scenes, what you can use in your the value chain of a pharmaceutical company. Where in every phase, like pre-clinical, what business analytics is done? Well, phase three, what analytics is needed? Launch product, what is needed? So every uh, product, in whole product life cycle, every product needs a different business analytics technique. Then I'll be going through competitive intelligence and market research. Every pharmaceutical company in USA, Europe has these types of departments. Then we will will be learning basic and advanced forecasting. Uh, this is one of the practice area which is highly paid, which is giving highly paid jobs in India for the consulting companies. There are very less pool of forecasters in India because pharmaceutical forecaster forecasting is not a generic thing. It needs a lot of assumptions, validations, uh, and knowledge from the industry. Then we will be having intellectual property rights. So, like suppose giving an example, I'm not going to talk about the patents. I'll tell you how a patent is read and what is the what is its implication to a pharmaceutical company, a pharmaceutical IPR department. I'm not other like other database. Uh, okay, I'll not tell you that this project is going to expire in this year. I will tell you if this product is going to expire with respect to IPR data. What is going to happen next? 
how do you put the insights putting taking the information from the uh, or orange book it's very easy then market assessments i'll be having a specific module uh, you will be saying you would be saying uh, there are around 50 companies in india mostly are based out of pune uh, which deals into therapy area reports right they are writing reports on uh, multiple myeloma they are writing reports on oncology they are report writing reports on medical device I'll tell you in market assessment module how a report is written, what is needed from the secondary reports, how you will, where you will get these things, and how you make the report. Market assessment is assessing the market. Market can be in terms of therapy area, in terms of any geography, or in terms of any particular patient pool. And then next thing comes uh, pricing and reimbursement. That is as you are. This is one of the uh, leading. Uh, and highly paying jobs in US and Europe, people are getting in India too. So this uh, vertical takes care of the pricing of a product with respect to what value it comes. Then all the data sets which are being used in healthcare and pharmaceutical consulting, we will touch base each and every data set. Okay. Uh, uh, I have experience. I'll show you on the Excel. I cannot, I will not be show, uh, able to share you the data because every data is from the property. But I'll tell you how to use that data. What headers those data have? have. What does me, it mean? Then uh, the I'll tell you the forecasting and then Salesforce effectiveness, like ZS uh, and Associate and all Axtria. They are doing a lot of Salesforce effectiveness. So if you get the basics of these things, you will find a, a great position in Axtria, in ZS Consultant, in Salesforce. And then in the right side, you can see Python, Excel, Tableau, and uh, MySQL. So everyone is selling. Uh, these four or five things right now in terms of business analytics. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to relate these 12, 13 things with these technology things. How this technology is going to help you in doing these things? Well, not only, uh, of course, you'll be learning these things from our module, like what is Python, what's the next thing, but we will give you what implications it has on these modules. Like, uh, now, uh, quickly, I'll jump into the syllabus for each module. Uh, like for healthcare system, I'll be touching global healthcare ecosystem, global ma pharmaceutical market, uh, like what is happening till 24. Uh, what, what is the uh, for, for key pharmaceutical therapy areas right now? We'll be deep diving a lot in terms of increasing cost control versus increasing importance of China as a therapy area. We'll be doing a lot of deep dive in oncology. Because oncology and the rare disease are the uh, future driving points for a pharmaceutical company. Advancement in gene therapy. We will be learning gene therapy. You will be I would have seen gene therapy is the one of the most discussed point uh, right now. Then we will be, be touching each and every geography with respect to their pharmaceutical market. Then we will be learning global regulatory scenario. This I'm telling you guys, this global regulatory scenario is not about learning the regulatory ecosystem. No, I'll tell you where each and uh, each and every point of this regulatory ecosystem is important for consulting for a pharmaceutical company. What we should learn and what we should not learn, uh, there should be a line into that, right? It's and this course is not give is a data dump. Right. This course is for you people for getting ready for the consulting companies. Then there will be general topics I taught, clinical trial management, drug safety over you. Then this is the course I was talking about, the business analytics across value chain. We'll be telling you components of product value chain, how a product life cycle optimized, elements of analytics across value chain, health economic and outcome research. I'll tell you about RWE impact on marketing strategies, what company does, how it impacts, how dipstick surveys are done for a pharmaceutical company, therapy area assessment, market expansion, need these, general, these specific things I'll be talking to you. And these things are neither anywhere in any syllabus, neither any MBA college. You, you know, talk about any healthcare pharmaceutical MBA college, talk about SIS, talk about Narsi Munji, talk about IHMAR. No one has this. And these, th these are the things when people come from the MBA, and they have learned about the four P's and uh, and the uh, they have learned about the uh, like a BCG matrix or the hands of matrix. They th at that time they don't know where to use that matrix. But I'll tell you what, where these are matrix. What you people have learned anywhere. Uh, so I'll be catching those things. Then uh, competitive intelligence and market research. This is a huge department in uh, pharmaceutical companies. 
in us and europe and india this is a department here i'll tell you how this department is important with respect to overall structure of a pharmaceutical company i'll tell you how to get the data for doing a competitive intelligence what is competitive intelligence actually competitive intelligence is not gathering the data so uh, I'll call it a like competitive insights. Gathering the data and providing the insight is the competitive. I'll tell you how to calculate sales force doing by from the secondary source. So I can calculate how many Pfizer, how many reps Pfizer have in the US. I can tell you, and I can we can do that from the secondary source. There is no data needed. It can be done from LinkedIn. I'll tell you how to suppose you want to know what AstraZeneca has a pipeline in US. We can make that report from secondary sources when this product will be launched. We have models. Excel models, you put the where the product is right now in the phase three, phase two, you put that, the Excel model will give you when this is going to launch. Suppose I'm having a product in therapy area A. I have to make a threat analysis that suppose in future any other product is going to come, what threat they are going to possess to me. So these things, PubMed Google, PubMed and Google are the huge sources and the clinical trial.gov for us uh, uh, to uh, do the secondary research and market research. Market research I'll be covering. So, and I'll be covering each and every data set what is used in CIE, competitive intelligence. Forecasting is very big practice area. So we'll be uh, in our calendar, there's a quite good amount of time to cover the forecasting. We'll be covering key forecasting principles, how the, we define the market, trending the market. Right now, uh, these or sentences or the or phrases uh, will not connect with you. But once you start getting into these guys, so I'm telling you, these are going to connect with you and you'll learn this. And when you learn this, or when you speak this language, suppose someone's asked you in the interview or when you will, uh, uh, what is forecasting? And you tell that, what is forecasting? How it is done? Even if you, uh, you use the jargons or your terminologies, uh, uh, it is good. Right now, if you ask someone, uh, for the forecasting, what is pharmaceutical forecasting? I, I don't know. No one will be daring to speak until unless they have done this forecasting. Everyone says that uh, it is a time series modeling. Yeah, it is a time series modeling, but a model cannot forecast a product, right? In terms of seeing the historical data, and in forecasting, uh, like how people say that where the r python uh, is used uh, in pharmaceutical industry so one of the area is forecasting what is r and python it's a tool for the artificial intelligence and machine learning what is artificial and machine learning a person should not do the forecasting uh, excel can do the forecast so we use r python techniques different techniques to understand the history and forecast doing the forecast of the product and this forecast department is very important department for any pharmaceutical company because they help for the stocking, uh, they help sales distribution team, they help the budget team, they help the marketing team to make the marketing activities. So this is important and this practice right now, there are very few companies in India which, has, which have excellent uh, uh, roles in this. Like um, Equia has a very good forecasting team, then uh, CS has, Pharma has, uh, uh, Decision Resource have a little bit on this. So very, and, and, and Novartis has a huge pool of this because Novartis has taken people and still Novartis is hiring at the rate they are hiring. I think they will hire another thousand people in India by that assumption. Because when I go through the LinkedIn, almost all my all my contacts, the junior contacts have been hired by them. And, and here me, I'm telling you, and if you learn these terminologies and all, you will be superior to the people who are applying to them. And this is my objective. The people who are really passionate about this industry, and they are not able to get into that industry because they know they cannot speak that their language. I want them people to speak their language and who are passionate to do in this industry. They should get into this industry. They should not be stopped or they should be, they cannot be challenged because if you are a passionate and something can help you, you get into that. Industry. IPR, we will tell you what, how data exclusivity is important right when do we do your forecast and we make a strategy it's very important to see when my product is aspiring what is para for litigation what is para for filing or give the implications rather than definitions you can read these definitions why am i needed or uh, kamal is needed uh, to do this course you can read this but i'll tell you how uh, these informations are going to relate in the work Market assessment, I told what is done. HUR is a huge area. I'll be covering HUR, different methodologies, 
systematic literature review it's a huge practice in india marksman like company does a lot of work into that and then what are the limitations of the hur state c what what are the data sets data sets are the major thing uh, and the usp of our program I'll, we will be telling you each and every data set so when you get into a company any company you are aware of data sets and the person who you are working with the senior people when you speak that yeah uh, i know that uh, for hur there is an intrinsic database which gives the data symphony is a database which gives the data of the hur anyone will be impressed because they work into that and no one knows that symphony or different companies have these data sales data i'll tell you about sales data equi is a sales data global sales data avax is for india what is units what is value what is uh, this prescription data how this data are used what type of analysis done what excel skills are needed what pivot we can make what bba skills are needed what technological skills are needed epidemiology is a huge uh, concept in terms of the people and i have been seen people from public health colleges like maybe pfhi maybe i smart they don't know the, they sometimes they miss on the basic things and when you miss on the basic things what you have learned in the colleges that the round of technology round in any of the interview doesn't uh, takes that forward excel we will give you basic excel and advanced excel some of you may be knowing the excel things but i'll tell you where the excel will be used in this industry rather than telling uh, learning excel functions which really are not important for our industry and some of the people uh, like talking we were talking about r and python i'll tell you why where r is needed where python is needed there is a huge uh, bi development thing right now we we try to hire for the tableau from the people and even tableau is very simple to learn and uh, only you need to know the basics of that industry we will let you know what is click sense how it is learned what type of roles you will get in the uh, industry for this job then forecast where the where the advanced excel is how the advanced excel is used in forecast tool development how the angular python c++ is used in forecast tool development r and python where it is used in time series analysis and forecasting so everything uh, i'll let you know about uh, these things where it will help people this slide uh, people don't uh, this is the uh, uses of technology in consulting industry so there are four things like data management so sql aws you see people are talking about these things on the internet so these things are used for the data management uh, clicks and tableau these things are used for uh, reporting thing uh, pharma kpi consulting angular js all these things so we have worked on so we really know where which things are going to help people to get into different departments it's not about learning uh, sql sql is a tool we need to extract the data we extract the data from tableau uh, sql we put into tableau and then we report if we are making any uh, product or user interface we will be needing angular js people so where that something of uh, knowing this data sets is very easy you can learn if you are uh, have inclination towards that but getting knowing how when it will be implemented it's a huge task which we will help you to get into and i'll now i'll show you what type of case studies we are going to present like this is the simple case study like an employee of organization has gathered the data from equia and the epidemiological sources how he has forgotten to label the indication can you help me in validating that two data sets for the same immediate so these types of case studies we are going to give you right a question which is a actually an interview question of the case study or which you will find uh, in your job so you have mcqs on that then we will be telling you what is the regular approach you people would have done we will evaluate your approach and then we will be uh, telling you the correct approach the calculations and everything so th this is usp we will be showing small small case studies not big case studies to solve with hardly matters uh, another example of case study like this is a see that you can case you can ca relate this case study how it is related to a company like for products like rub service at that produce at for phi like that apply for the indication anime you you have to tell what is the current dialysis market is dominated by this thing so these are the questions going to help you getting into this industry with respect to information what you uh, what will be teach you so we will be giving a huge amount of case studies and then uh, this program has the evaluation part also two mid term evaluation will be there and one final evaluation will be there with respect to a uh, case study submission and uh, with respect to 
placement assistance i i don't think you will need an assistance after this program i'm very sure uh, before this program or look only you will get into some of the companies because when you start talking this language with the people you will get into but still uh, 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 we will be assisting you we'll be doing mock interviews with you we will be um, i'll be your, i'll will be your personal mentor on that you can bring kamal sir anytime you can be he has a huge team on therapy area now we have some of the uh, great doctors from our industry uh, aligned with us collaborating with us they will be telling you then lms portal is there everything is on their portal and uh, we can ask uh, they'll be done lots of case studies so we are not that's why we have not written that will we help you uh, in getting into placement into companies and we another company training company i am not giving you the names they that we will place you because we know that after this course you will be self enabled to place yourself that's why i don't want to uh, uh, brand this uh, course like 100% placement i don't want to write this 100% word because i know that uh, we are not into that and you will be self enabled We, we are there but this uh, my and kamal's uh, belief is that this course is uh, self enabled and uh, this course itself has a self belief to you people getting into this industry and where you will go after this course uh, all this become there maybe bcg clearview navigant cs right so all the inspired uh, big four consulting are different and all these companies work into the pharmaceutical and healthcare consulting domain like and the how the hierarchy moves in this company you come with uh, these are the hierarchy for the person uh, who have pharma or medical domain like he comes with the analyst like these two years of two three years of experience i'm writing so my course is working here right it will reduce these two three why the freshers are not able to get into analyst job because they don't know about the fundamentals of this industry so the people like you coming to like these courses these two three uh, that's why and now people are writing in their job zero to three years experience like so you people if don't have into their sleep will be like zero but when the technical people start talking to you they will think yeah you have not worked in this companies but you talk their language so do these two three years of experience is reduced to zero years of experience while uh, working with this program so as an analyst people works consultant engagement manager delivery head and now from consultant from this courses if you want to move to us or europe um, there are visa policies we if we find the good people are there these people move for long term engagement to us or all they work from there same uh, software engineers come to our industry you we uh, take lot of people freshers from people from nit iit is everywhere but same thing they know the basics they know the computer but they don't know how the software development what type of work is in, in this industry so here people go from software engineer to senior software engineer tech lead software and the head technology so this is a typical path it goes and less consultant project manager account team lead domain role technical role so these are the things uh, we will be helping you know, to about this industry you should know as a tech lead what new products can come should come into pharmaceutical industry so so come so these were the i wanted to uh, do it in a brief so that people are not confused about these courses and when we will be touching these things we will be getting into the huge details of that thank you dinesh sir thank you very much uh, now um, we will be happy to take the questions uh, uh, in terms of right. the program uh, this week uh, you will receive the schedule by doctor uh, so another colleague i would like to introduce today is dr vipra dr vipra is the head of operations and the uh, training uh, at clinamines uh, she will be your point of primary point of contact in terms of the program coordination uh, your session timings and the various trainers who will be coming from time to time she'll be in touch with you uh, for the session timings and all those issues um, and if you want to always reach to dinesh sir the best approach would be you know send him a email on his personal id which he will share you know when the program starts and uh, if you have any queries clarifications route them through dr vipra copy to uh, dinesh sir so that we are in loop in terms of uh, we don't want to be kind of a bureaucratic that you but 
keep us in loop, keep Dr. Vipra in loop so that we know what are your, uh, any specific query which should be addressed uh, by the team. Now I would uh, request you to uh, kindly, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, uh, you can uh, sort of uh, raise your queries. Uh, I, I think Dr. Anand, I will perhaps start with you uh, yesterday. Uh, has Dr. Dinesh uh, answered your query or would you like to sort of uh, uh, want to speak on that? Uh, I hope he has answered my question already. Sir. He told that okay. uh, he was very clear in uh, giving his presentation. So I got cleared and I, I'll i be getting more doubts when, he when I attend the class. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. And with the, yeah, at the right time, yeah, these issues will be you know, address. So mm -hmm. program will be progressive in nature. So everything doesn't start at the same time. So uh, the relevant topics will come at the right stage of the program. You are into the six month journey. So uh, we will at the right stage, these things uh, will come up. But yeah, feel free to uh, anyone else, Abhijit, Daria, Nilesh, Swapnil, if anyone else would like to ask questions, uh, you're most welcome. Right. Hello, sir. Abhijit here. So, Hello, Abhijit. Uh, yeah. So, uh, my question was regarding uh, my future perspectives as well. So, one of my reason of uh, enrolling into this program was uh, I have plans of moving abroad as well. Okay. So, um, what I wanted to know is uh, having this knowledge over here and taking this. Uh, as you rightly mentioned, uh, you are going to tell us give us the inputs from US and Europe perspective market as well. So uh, mm -hmm. when I'm moving there, uh, will the work culture as well as the way it is going to, uh, the things are going to happen over there, will I be able to in incorporate my knowledge over there and I showcase my knowledge over there or will I have any difficulty in that part or uh, is this no. going to restrict to Indian market only or even I'm in India? No, no, this is this is not going to. Uh, so I'll answer you this question. So uh, whatever work we are learning here, it, it is for US and Europe market because uh, if I talk about consulting industry, only 10% of consulting is done for Indian companies because uh, this is a, this is a knowledge industry. It comes with a huge cost. So clients have to pay huge cost for the people, learned people like you. When you come to there, it's there. So it's this. Whatever I'm going to teach you, it's all the perspective is for US and Europe. So you learn everything. And we, when you start working in with any of these companies, and you are proficient in all these the modules or the concept what I have told, it will have. It and if your company has a role for US. They will apply visa for you. You will go there. It's all like that. You were working from India for them. Now you are sitting beside them, right? In the, their offices. Uh, you are working Lily or Lily's office. You will sit beside the client, and he's working with you. And all, all these are the skills they also have, and you also have. So there is nothing challenge in terms of technical content, anything. Yeah, and like you or people who have a good communication skill, they excel more, right? So nothing. So we, this course is absolutely about analytics and consulting for US, Europe and other worlds. And people, I'm telling you, there's a huge amount of movement. We don't get right people to move people to US, right? Because we need right people who really know, know this concept. And we are struggling because uh, this industry have very less people. So we have very less literal hats. That's why these courses are important. And I'm trying to run these courses in my company also. It's not like that. This is a course uh, uh, which is outside. I'm trying to map that how I do these courses in my company also. And, I'm, uh, and of course, after doing this course, I'm going to help my company also, right? To getting good people into that. Because whatever I'm missing, uh, I, I know that what, why I'm missing good people. Well, people don't know about these concepts. And it takes a lot of time for us to train them. If they come with the basic, it will be very less. So answering your question, nothing will be needing when you uh, want to move. Only whatever company you are working with, uh, they, if they are aligned to on the visa and all these things, with respect to content, uh, insights, and the needs, requirements of the education or the concepts, nothing will miss. Thanks, okay. uh, Dinesh. Abhijit, I'll sort of a slightly extend the and take it from where uh, Dinesh has spoken. Uh, 
2.1 there's nothing nothing in india centric about this program this is purely really? very glo global in nature uh, mm -hmm. talks primarily us and uh, europe that's a, that's where the market focus is number 2 uh, before even you want to you know explore us or any other opportunity globally acquire a couple of years of experience in india before you can start because the more work experience you will have in india you will mm -hmm. be respected more in those countries because uh, at the end of the day qualifications and all these do matter but the real world experience of actually doing things or getting things done is more important uh actually so acquire experience in india of 2 3 years you know build your profile and then look overseas you will perhaps uh, you know get better opportunities there is that right the nation yeah 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 the, yeah. the company yeah the company whatever company you are working with uh, they have to align with you so and if you are doing great job they always take people to outside they are looking for the people because uh, people are very less good people are very less to sending them outside Sure. Thank you. Thank you both. Sir. Thank you both of you. We would like you to ask questions, and we'll be very, very happy if you ask questions. And Swapnil, you want to speak? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes. The question is, uh, as you mentioned in one of your slides, uh, regarding the career path. Mm -hmm. uh, as per the career path for analyst. Um, Some type of uh, years of experience required. Then moving uh, ahead uh, for um, uh, for project manager and mm -hmm. uh, right. senior manager. So the person like me, I have a ten years of experience in the consulting field, mm -hmm. and uh, now right now I'm learning the analytics thing, analytical oh, skill. Right, so right. how uh, how uh, I will get it, get an opportunity in this field because oh. already I have a ten years of experience. Are you right, right. consider me as a fresher? Sure. right so people who really are working in the pharmaceutical industry and they have little bit of uh, the uh, the experience we bring them or the industry brings them at the level of consultants right maybe associate and consultant or consultant we don't uh, think that they are trainee analysts because already they have couple of years of experience in healthcare and pharmaceutical maybe they don't know these and these skills but for us it's very fast to learn you those skills from this module you will come up absolutely with these modules we learn it but whenever the training is there you are on the project right away right so it's very easy for you to put as a consultant and start working on the projects so that two three years of thing is waived off for you and second thing whatever hierarchy i have shown um, our industry doesn't believe in tenure that after two years you will become consultant or senior consultant if you are performing good um, uh, you are there i have seen people becoming consultant in 2 to 3 years or maybe one year project manager in 3 years you have to perform and and the major uh, the thing is how you work with the clients and the project so uh, for the people who have little bit of experience uh, they come at the consultant role they can't don't come at the analyst role just couple of points by the time you think of your question couple of more points uh this is a very specialized program uh, only about 6 months only that's to only weekend classes uh my only request to everyone is that uh do not miss sessions you know uh, and if you have any social commitment anything comes up it's two hours basically of that day Uh, don't miss out session because every time you miss out a session you are perhaps missing out something very very interesting right. and very critical so please yeah. reschedule your two hours in terms of your social commitments or anything uh, so because you know every time you, although the recordings will be made available to you for the sessions but nothing like the real time you know any other questions it seems uh, today's session uh, we if you don't have questions uh, 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 
I think I would like to extend thanks to everyone when, for coming and attending the sessions and my special thanks to Dinesh sir for, you know, planning and, you know, implementing. I think the, a lot of people plan, but, you know, you need very, very special people who can plan and implement things and, uh, you know, and impart things to people and impart and share the knowledge uh, uh, with the professionals. Uh, so thank you, Dinesh. Thanks a lot for this uh, session great, today. Great. And uh, see you all on next Saturday. And if in the meantime, if you have any queries, please uh, uh, send your email to Dr. Vipra. And uh, yeah. you have her WhatsApp number as well. So sure. kindly connect yeah. with us. So thank you. Last but not yeah. the least, I'll tell you all, uh, don't worry about the placement things and all right now. This course will enable you. I guarantee you that you will be uh, of the few people uh, who are going through these courses. And I'm very sure uh, whatever your aspirations, passion, are there to get into consulting companies, pharmaceutical, and whatever you want to do there, uh, it will help you. I'm very sure. Thanks all. Thank you. Thanks for the information. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.